Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Using the single point diamond tool is working, but it's taken a long, long time. I'm going to try a few innovations. Might have to pull out the power tools. I've had this 4 inch wet or dry diamond wheel. It's called a 4 inch dry or wet use turbo diamond cup wheel. Designed for grinding on cured concrete, hard brick or block, hard granite, and general purpose masonry. So I think we're okay. When I bought it at Harbor Freight, it was $27.99. That's an expensive item at Harbor Freight. With the grinder unplugged, I firmly attach the wheel. This process is going to generate quite a bit of dust. I'm going to rig up a dust collector by attaching the vacuum cleaner to the framework here. See if I can't get most of the dust to go into the vacuum cleaner. Well, that's got it in place. Clamp our steady rest down. Well, it looks like the dust is going to go right into the vacuum cleaner. We'll see how that does. Just to be sure I'm okay, I'm going to wear a, a dust mask. Silica dust is nasty. Okay, we're going to get awfully noisy here. Well, I got most of the hop out of the wheel. I got a low spot in it. I'm gonna to have to take off about an eighth of an inch off of everything but this area right here. I've got about an eighth to a three sixteenths of an inch of a hop in the wheel, but that old shaft is a little bit small for the bearings, so I'm getting some hop out of that too. I've got the rough dressing done though, and the grinding wheel took off a lot of stone. I think the vacuum cleaner dust pickup worked pretty well too. Considering that it took a half inch off the diameter of that stone to make it come out that round, that's not much dust on the floor. Now I'll use the vacuum cleaner to clean up my mess and I can start on the new axle shaft. Once I get the new axle shaft done, and I get the wheel mounted on it, then I can true up the wheel and dress it out completely. 
This actually went a lot faster than what I thought it was going to. Uh, I expected to be here probably a couple hours with a grinder, but it worked really fast. That's an aggressive cup wheel, and it didn't look like it even took hardly anything off the wheel itself. The grinder held up good. I like these DeWalt grinders. I went looking for a new one after my Craftsman wore out. I had the Craftsman for seven years and I used it a lot. But I burned it up grinding on a uh, trailer hitch and I decided I needed a new one so I went looking and this was the strongest of the bunch. Now they make a higher grade uh, DeWalt for industrial use but I didn't want to spend $200. So this one was about a hundred bucks and I've had it, I don't know, five years, 10 years, about seven actually. So it's already outlasted the Craftsman by a long shot. Still a good grinder. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching. Now I get to go out and sandblast the porch. It's going to be a sandy day. <laughs>